Yeah, resume it. So the, the goal of this project for autonomous ground vehicles research is really to advance the state of the art for the kind of Vtronics that we see and cars that we can drive today. And this is an extreme example because this is a car that's capable of driving itself. Yeah. And the software problems that are inherent in that are tremendous because we want systems to be very safe and we also want systems to be very understandable. And the confluence of those two is very hard. For about the past four or five years now, I've been working in this area. Um, and this is a really new test bed and platform for the University of Arizona. And so it gives us the chance to find new students that are interested in this and then to bring this platform down to the undergraduate and graduate level so that students can get practical training on the problems that are affiliated with this research. So the first step is to really lay down a test bed that's very safe and this involves installing sensors in the vehicle so that we could literally hand the controller over to a six-year-old child and that they wouldn't be able to do any damage with the car, wouldn't be able to run into other cars, wouldn't be able to uh, other <laughs> right. still cars, right? right? Moving cars would always be a problem uh, because a moving car can hit you, but yeah. to, to make it so that they could drive around in this parking lot with all of these light poles and with fences everywhere mm -hmm. and make it so that no matter what they did that the vehicle would behave in a safe manner. The vehicles that we have today have between 30 and 100 computers that are already on board and so especially with this vehicle what we have is the interface to all of those computers so that we can find out what the vehicle knows about itself. I'd like to see cars that can um, basically drop you off at the front of the movie theater and go park and then come back and pick you up. Figure eights? Uh, <laughs> anybody? <laughs> Burnouts? No. Well, I mean, maybe you could come here, turn right here, and then turn left and try park in one of the parking spaces up there.